Hello, good morning, and welcome to my Floramancer world. How are you this Sunday? I hope you're doing well. Um, I have some explaining to do since I did not stream yesterday. Hi, Folk and Dove. So, let's start out with why I didn't stream yesterday. Because it wasn't that I didn't feel bad, didn't feel good, or it wasn't that I was depressed, or anything like that. I had a disaster in this world. <laughs> and resurrecting it really irked me and I was just not in the mood to play after I fixed it. I was just like, screw it, I'm done. Not playing this rest of the day. So what I did, and I'm here because this is the start of what actually happened. Um, I was AFK at the spawner area for an hour. And then just AFK, not paying attention to the rest of my world. And you already know we have some lovely little hiccups and blips with my world on regular occasions. Thank goodness this is not on a server because I would have so many headaches. Well, so at some point during my AFK process, something happened with my cakes. Not here. This ran out of cakes. So this was consuming all the cakes. Something happened with the cake maker. And what does the cake need in its recipe that I keep having issues maintaining? Anyone know? I bet you'll figure it out if you've been watching for any period of time. Yep, that would be buckets. So something happened, some kind of snafu happened where I ran out of buckets and it still kept trying to craft cakes because it had no signal. It needed to craft cakes, but because it didn't have enough buckets, the craft crate couldn't actually craft something. <sighs> yeah, it couldn't craft, so then all the hoppers filled up with stuff, and then when the hoppers filled up with stuff, things were just spewing out into the world, and I had wheat and sugar and eggs and then some milk buckets just flying out into the world everywhere there was no cakes being made there was a mess everywhere <laughs> okay so who knows how long because i didn't i'm pretty certain i didn't reclaim i had to make so many buckets um i didn't reclaim all of the resources that were needed but this this is fixed but on top of it then using a whole bunch of milk buckets that were never picked up as the empty bucket they were all milk buckets just laying here what else needs bucket in my world That's right, guys. That would be... Oop, I have a big slime over there. Flower crafting. Flower crafting could not be done. And thankfully, I have that supply check up there telling me if I don't have water buckets not to craft anything. So... I had no empty buckets to get water buckets to do my flower crafting. So... I ran out of hydrangeas. I ran out of endoflames. <laughs> um... And so those flowers weren't running, so the area that I have generating mana with hydrangeas wasn't working. The, the area that I have with endoflames wasn't working because all of them were dead. And then also the Reflausia that uses these two plus two others to generate mana was working only at half steam. Um, yeah. What else needs cakes in my world? I'm just going to leave him alone. Can you think? That's right. Runes of Winter. Runes of Winter. They couldn't craft either. And so then I had a mess of stuff going on because I don't have supply checks for this side of the um, rune drome, the amphitheater, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So that busted. <laughs> Uh -huh, I busted. Um, yeah, so all of that happened just from AFKing at the farm for an hour. So that was, it took me almost an hour and a half to, to fix everything and get back to normal again. Um, so that was not fun. But I have done, I have made some progress before all that happened. So I, you know... Trust me, yesterday I was just like, I fixed everything, and I'm like, oh, forget it. I am not going to play. I'm not in a good enough mood to entertain, and I'm not in a good enough mood to do anything but be grumpy about 
the fact that this broke. So, yay! <laughs> but it's fixed, and I may, if I continue playing for a decent amount of time yet, I don't know. I may have to put in a supply check for the cake to say if there's no milk buckets not to try to craft anything. Um, well, no, most of it was cleanup. I had to empty these hoppers and empty the crate and pick up all of the supplies. Then I had to go make sure I had empty buckets and I had to go up and make sure that I was still making milk buckets up in my cow farm. I said most of it was just picking stuff up. Um, but it was a mess. Now, things still aren't 100%. Um, if we go up here to where the endoflames are, we st I still haven't recovered the end all of the endoflames. I'm just letting the timer drop them on when it's time. So this isn't working at full steam yet. Okay, and the same with my hydrangeas. These haven't all fully recovered yet either. So... Yeah. But that isn't the only problem that happened. I use charcoal. Charcoal for my end of flames. I don't remember putting you there. Why are you... That, I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Um, that isn't the only problem that happened. At the same time. So now we know, just setting the stage here, during my AFK, I stopped generating mana from Endoflames, I stopped generating mana from Hydrangeas, I stopped generating mana from the Kekamuris, my Reflausia was reduced by half. And then also something happened here. I'll give you a moment. <laughs> My thermalilies have been extremely reliable. Except when a zombie pigman spawns in the nether and prevents the rail cart from moving on the track. And so when that happened, my buckets of lava that were in the nether never made it to the overworld. And so, as this continued to run, it would use up all the buckets of lava in the dispensers, and once that happened, it would then eject the buckets, and then it started ejecting cobblestone and granite, which some of it is close enough to this random carpus. So when the, the, the thermal lily died, it would place cobblestone and granite instead of the flowers. How did so much go wrong in a short amount of time? An hour? Um, <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm lucky that it all happened all at once. Woo! Yeah, let me tell you, our iron supply is pretty much non-existent at the moment um, because I had to make so many buckets. So I went into the nether trying to figure out why there was no lava in these dispensers, and that's where I found... Um, zombie pigmen walking. See, there's a bunch of lava buckets here because I was trying to recover what was going on and I bet all of these dispensers are full. Yeah. I am lucky I managed to fix everything, yes. <laughs> so these must be extra. That's okay. I was just panicking and just chucked a whole bunch of buckets in there once I got it working. Um, so I did go down to where we're p getting the buckets and filling them up with lava, and I half-slabbed most of the area there to reduce zombie pigmen spawning. Half-slabbed most of the rest of the area, just trying to get rid of pigmen spawning in there to hopefully prevent that from happening again. So, we caught up to speed. These were not running either. They were all granite and cobblestone blocks. <laughs> So, yeah. Which meant... I almost ran out of mana. Congratulations. You've just officially become a dog. Golden Lion, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. You rock. Thank you. 
Yep. Yep. So, um, we're working on rebuilding the mana supply. <laughs> so today we will not be doing anything that consumes mana. We won't be making anything that will consume mana. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Uh, because I need to rebuild my mana supply. This is my battery is just is getting mana and then every minute it leaves and tries to go into my conduit lines to feed the things that need mana. Oh boy. But would you like to know the things that I did get done that aren't a part of the headache? <laughs> there aren't a lot of things. I didn't do a ton. Um, they're down here. Down here in my crafting hall. I have the start of the potato fun. Potato fun. So if you remember correctly, one of the challenges for the map is to get the galactic potato. Um, and that requires getting the, um, what are these? The tiny potatoes and then, which you get by putting them in a mana pool. And then you craft them and craft them, craft them. Nine equals nine plus nine and nine. Yeah, so I started that. So we have tiny potatoes, and then the rest are all just regular crafting. So I have um, little potatoes, and then small potatoes, and then medium potatoes. So I have four steps out of the nine that I need. Um, I am considering... Wrong button. I'm considering... Oh, see, and I have craft on because I was using that for fixing a few things. Um... Potato. Yep, so we're up to this one. Then we've got Jumbo, Immense, Enormous, Colossal, and then Galactic, which the Colossal is the same size. Galactic is just when you throw it into a... isn't it? No, it's nine Colossals. Okay, so we got a wow. Yay. I need to make tiny ones. How cute. So, hi Mikey. You catch up with the whole series soon? <laughs> Good luck, Real Infinite. Good luck. There's like 116 hours so far. Anyway, so that I did that. I do currently have it turned off. I popped the torch so that it wasn't doing this since it was use it uses mana every time it needs to make a potato. So in part of my, oh my gosh, everything is breaking, I turned this one off because this was just going to go and go and go and go and go and go forever. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Other things I did, I have grass duplicating and then turning into pasture seeds. And then I also have redstone root being made. Those are a few things that I kept going, gosh, I really need to be doing this. I attempted to do, to make the floating flowers, um, floating, the floating flowers that I like to use for my functional flowers. I attempted to do it this way. Um, but it is, it is not a, uh, um, 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 what's the name of a recipe that um, you don't have to have it in a certain order? It's a set recipe. Let's let's just jump to it. These floating flowers have to be crafted this way, shaped and unshaped. Thank you. My brain was just like, it is not an unshaped recipe. Ish, it is a shaped recipe, and this. This is also a shaped recipe. It is not a shapeless recipe. Um, so I couldn't do it in this these crafting setups either because it was just really messing up. When I was requesting two glowstone and a empty slot and then the flower using the, these setups, it was not working. I tried so many different configurations to get it to work and unfortunately it, it never did. So uh, if it were shapeless, it wouldn't have a problem with wherever anything ended up. But because it was, it's a shaped recipe. Blah. So I would have to use the 3x3 three three crafting that I have um, down downstairs in the other hub. So I'm just like, I just went, meh, okay, we'll move on to potatoes. So I've got potatoes. We'll probably get the rest of the potato lines down to here set up. Um, 
Yeah. One of the other things I wanted to do was go around and light some caves up so that when we get to doing the slime, the Narslimus, we'll have better rates. But that, that's something that just... Uh, yesterday was unfun. Um, so how we've recovered our eggs. See, we were running, we were running out of eggs because they were just ending up on the ground for the cake farm. So we haven't recovered enough eggs to hatch any chickens for a while. And we'd run out almost out of wheat, which means we weren't producing any baby cows. So that had stopped. <sighs> See, we're getting some milk right now. I need to increase the number, I think. Anyway, I think we have like, what, eight stacks of iron now? Yeah, this was almost, this was at like six, 50 stacks, I think, at one point during my mess of, oh my gosh, what's going on? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> now you know why I didn't stream yesterday. Because things just stopped working. Things were so... I am not... I'm using an orchid. I do have an orchid over here. This is my, um... I do have an orchid. Um, but that is actually an iron farm. Oh yeah, the uh, iron in my... the lava in my inventory. Let's put you here. I have an iron farm up there. Yeah. Up there. Nisi, hello! You just missed me explaining everything that had gone wrong yesterday. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> but all the things that broke yesterday have been fixed and we're just slowly recovering our mana. So, yeah. Which farm, Infinite? I'm pretty sure I did. Iron farm, gold farm. Whoop. Iron farm, gold farm. They're both here. Um, which flowers do I still have to automate? Good question. So yeah, back down. All right, so as far as automation is concerned, the only flowers we have left to automate are the dandelion and the shulkminat and the narslimus. All of the others are fully automated and like set it, forget it, pretty much. Uh, the one here, this one, we don't get a whole bunch of mana from when I'm just set it and forget it. I do use these for the spawner farm too, but currently that is just an AFK sort of deal. And these aren't producing a bunch because there's just the one and a little bit of, flat of leaves, so there's not a lot of that. But all of the rest of these are all just set to go. And we've got 13 mana pools from the cake so far since we automated that last time and 13 from the, the entropinium. So again, this one's going to take a while because we can't, we don't have a very fast supply of gunpowder powder. So yeah, we should be getting this one pretty soon and this one pretty soon, technically. This is at halfway and this is at, you know, we're almost there. Almost there. The next flower that we will be automating likely is the Shulk Me Not. We need to get a pumpkin farm made first, but um, yeah. And that's something I'll do on my own, and it was something I was going to have done. But um, yeah. 
Infinite has a question. Do you think that a wizard tower could look good if it's made out of pink materials? Of course. Uh, you need a pumpkin farm. Why do you need a pumpkin farm? You need a pumpkin farm because in order to do the shulk me knot, you need shulkers. And in order to spawn shulkers with Batania, you need the cocoon of Caprice and you need to feed it coarse fruit. Okay? The cocoon of Caprice needs a fell pumpkin, which requires a pumpkin in its crafting. So each time I want to generate mana with the Shulk Mina, I need to make two Kakuna Caprice. I mean, I could do one and then another mob, but it's certainly doable with that. But if I just do two Kakuna Caprice and let the Shulkers shoot it themselves at each other, that will be fine. So yeah, um, everything's running down here just fine. We have a good amount of melon and this is our current pumpkin supply, which like I said, we could, we could set up the fell pumpkin crafting and whatnot. Um, it'll go up here and our coarse fruit front farm is running great. It is doing really well. The last time I showed you, I did have to extend the time. This is now 13 minutes. I wanted it to be a little bit longer because these were still having a whole bunch of growth left. If you can see if the flowers are open, they still can grow some more. These are closed so they can't grow any further. Um, but yeah, there's still a whole bunch of growth on these and I was thought I was harvesting them a little too fast. Um, is there some method that spawns shulkers in quark? I think an endermite can enter a purple block or something like that. So, ye okay. If that is the thing, it's still going to be easier for me to make Kakuna Caprice and feed it coarse fruit than me throwing a bunch of ender pearls I don't have to hopefully get an endermite to go into a purple block. And you just think of the automation setup that I'm going to have to, to do that in order to get an endermite. How many ender pearls do you have to throw to get an endermite? And then you have to hope that it goes into the purple block to turn it into a shulker. It's a lot faster, more reliable to make a Kakuna Caprice, feed it 20 cores, fruit each, and wait, I think, three minutes? I think it takes three minutes, maybe it's two minutes, for a guaranteed shulker each time. So yeah. <laughs> So we do have chorus fruit. This is almost full. I'm not going, I don't think I'm going to need to make this chest any bigger. So um, I will want to set a method of turning the farm off, turning the bore lens part off when it's, um, when it's full. So we'll have, we'll have to figure that out down here. And of course I want to decorate this area. It's not going to stay this way. That's part of the things we're going to work on today is I have so many incomplete building projects. Figured we'd work on those while we're waiting for mana to rebuild and recover and all, all the bad things happening. Okay, good. We're still at four stats. Still have not had to use my giant mushroom farm. We are relatively low on wheat and seeds. These things dropped down because of our cake problem. Oh, they still look pretty good. I would like to make this a little taller at some point if I find that I'm not able to maintain the amount of seeds and meat. So, yes. And we have so many supplies here. Yep, I have beetroot down here. Beetroot right here. Yep, I'm going to be doing some building. The real infinite. Definitely going to do some building. Beetroot here, netherwort in the back, carrots on this side. All the things we need for fell pumpkins, uh, well not for fell pumpkins, for um, the cellular blocks that we're gonna need for the dandelion. Anyway, Sugar King Farm, I'm just running around making sure everything else is still functioning. Mm. Okay. And this should recover in the next we only have the one in the next five minutes or so, so it should request another one. How long is that timer? Yeah, less than five minutes. And then that one will be running. I can use their seeds and I am using their seeds. 
I'm using the beetroot seeds. I'm actually turning them into melon seeds and then using the melon seeds for the Reflausia crafting. I'm not 100% sure why I'm converting them to melon seeds, but I am. There, there was some reason that I did that, and I don't remember what it was. This looks like it's slowly getting there. I'm not... Yeah, I'm like, I'm not sure why now, but I am. Get root seeds to melon seeds. At some point I know I was converting melon to melon seeds. And I don't know why I'm doing that either. But there was a reason at one point in time. <laughs> so... Yeah, we we'll just kind of go, mm, whatever. There was a reason when I made it, and we're just going to leave it alone and let it do its thing. I have melon seeds and many different options. So, what are we going to work on today? First, we are going to work on building up and making pretty the entropinium area. I figure I'd do this area first because I still want to get the um, pathway to the nether portal kind of decked out. I have it carved out so it's a path now, to, for the most part. Um, <laughs> I'd like to make this look cool. I think what I would like to do is... I think I might do the creeper theme. It probably uh, won't be amazing put it that way. It won't be amazing, so if you're expecting something amazing, yeah, probably not. Um, the flower that places blocks cannot plant seeds, but dispensers can. That's how I have all my farms set up. Did you notice that, Golden Lion? It's a Batania thing. There's my wheat, my potato farm. Dispensers can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Run around real fast. So as far as the creeper theme over here, um, I'm thinking it would be really interesting to kind of just make the inside of this dark maybe with some dark gray, and then have a front face of an actual face of a creeper in glass so that we can see in. So given, you know, like from far away, you'll see a creeper face up here. And as you get closer, you'll be able to see the interior and this will essentially act as like the creeper's brain, I think is what I want to do. So we're gonna need to make some concrete and uh, for that, I'll show you what I did because if you've, uh, you were here the last time I streamed Floromancer, we did a concrete maker, but we were having problems getting it to turn on and off. Um, I did find a way to turn it on and off. So I have a, a compact clock here and then uh, How did, did I, is that supposed to be there? For some reason, this looks wrong. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Yeah, no, that block isn't supposed to be there. I must have been in a hurry to place blocks. It's supposed to be redstone. I haven't made it all. There you go. So this is our concrete, auto concrete maker. And it turns off. I mean, granted, we need to make it pretty. Oh, and it's been picking up stuff from all the way up there. We should fix that too. 
I haven't had to dig a whole lot of it. Um, the reason I moved down here is because it was a great big cave system. That's part of the features of the overworld map is that you can do, um, the caves are giant. All right, so what we're gonna do is bind you to that. And when you run out of mana, um, I don't remember what mod adds the caves. <laughs> Stop, stop. We don't want you to have that much range. Now you shouldn't have that much range. I hope you can't reach up there. Whirly's Caves? Is that it? Okay. Turn you off for now. And we're gonna chuck some out here. Let's see. Oh, it still can reach it. We're gonna have to put a. Oh. You didn't pick it up. Must not be completely full. It's getting picked up. Where is it going? Yeah, it is getting picked up by you. Doggone it. All right. Um. I don't think I have a frame. I do. We're gonna be silly here. I need to tell this Hopper Hawk not to pick up that stuff. So we have it. So let's pick up only items in frame. So only pick up redstone, which obviously it won't have. And we'll change the redstone out to whatever concrete we're making at the time, which right now is going to be um, dark gray. We'll do dark gray for the interior. Um, can you set it to not pick up living rock? Well, I think so. Um, Pick up only items not in frames. Pick up any items. Pick up only items in frames is what I had it set at. So if I had it say pick up items not in the frames and I put living rock there. Is what you're asking. That would probably work. Whoop. Where did you come from? Now I know why that happened. Although I don't know why I have purple metaphoric fungal stone bricks there. Where do those come from? There's a random carpus somewhere around here. And I can't remember. Do I have a rogue boar lens? Mm. <sighs>
Oui. Things are not going the way they're supposed to. Exactly. This, um... Yeah. Okay, so we're inside the blocks for the... Why is that purple? Why did that purple block get broken? And put down here. I don't know how it got placed. I don't have... a ran in carpus Near here. Hello, Comet Lore. So, hmm. Ow. And then, why did it get broken up here? Uh, the high pitch sound is my um, cape. When I take damage, my cape protects me. Uh, so one of these blocks under here is broken for some reason. That would be why that is in my inventory. Does this have mana? You had to be more specific when you ask me questions. Does what have mana? The uh, strength two is from my cape as well. The cloak of um, actually, maybe it's not the cape. I think it's one of my wills on my helmet. No. There's no need for mana at the Living Rock Farm. And then for pendant... Do I? Oh, I do have a blood pendant for strength. I must have put that on for fighting the uh, guardian. I never remember everything I have. There's no mana here. There's no need for mana here. Yeah, you don't need mana here. Um, I do have mana. Oh, yeah, I have mana for the boar lens here, actually. Never mind. The boar lens needs mana. <laughs> I don't know why that just happened, though. Why aren't the blocks breaking? You're right, I'm trying to figure that out. It's aimed at the tiny planet. First, it shouldn't be triggering at all. Why can't I fly? There it goes. It shouldn't be triggering at all. <sighs> so the blocks currently aren't breaking because it's turned off. And it's, it's turned off because this is full. There, just changed. But it shouldn't break it because it's turned off. So, I just don't know why I don't have anything that can place blocks and it just did it again. Um, 
since it has air, it pushes the block underneath. Which one has air? Hmm. Not those. Ah. <laughs> yep, I see. I see what's happening. So it was just pushing it down and down and down. But it shouldn't be triggering it at it shouldn't... Yeah, it's got an air block in there somewhere. Uh-huh, I see what it just did. Okay, so we need to put a piece of obsidian. Yep, that's what's doing that. Wow, that it's lined up just so. All right, if we put obsidian here and then our block, which is, oh, it looks like we're gonna have to do that more than once, aren't we? We're gonna have to do it on this side too, because I have another purple block on me. purple? No. You need to be purple. So we'll put you there. And you there. Where else are you doing it? Okay, so those are all purple. That's where they need to be. Yeah, but I don't need it. Even if it wasn't affected, I don't need it pushing blocks. I mean, even if it is only for 15 blocks. Somewhere? One of these others? This one maybe? No, that one looks fine. I'm just trying to figure out why I still have a purple block in my inventory. Oh wait, you know what? I know why. This one, I took this one out. There we go. That should have fixed it, which means we should be able to fix our thing here. <laughs> There's the obsidian to the thing going. So yep, now it shouldn't push it down any further. Well, that was a fun side trick, side trip. So, um, I did see your message about one of the terracotta makes creeper faces. Um, really? One of you guys said it. Green glazed terracotta. Regular green. It doesn't look like it would. Um, before I make it. That looks like it makes a bullseye. You think it's one of the ones with the blue color in it? Um, lime? And then you think one with the blue. 
The lime looks like it's gonna make flowers. I, I don't think so. That won't make creepers. Cyan. I don't know. Let's find out. That's got creeper faces each on each one. I wouldn't want. I don't want that. I mean, yeah, that has creeper faces on it. Um. No. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> All right. So ah, there's green. Portuguese pavement that I could use on the floor. Oh, I have these ugly cave crystals. That is totally something I can... I only have a stack and almost two stacks, so I have to limit how I use them. But, and I... I could use these on the front instead of glass. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're gonna use these on the floor. So we'll make some more of these and we'll make but the floor is the green Portuguese pavement. And we'll use these in the front window to make the creeper face, the green part of the creeper face. And then black stained glass for the you know, eyes, nose, mouth thing. Um, and then the inside part, I still wanna do a dark color. I might just do some metamorphic stone instead of concrete. I mean, I'm not actually gonna ever be in there. Of course, ooh, there's this, um, how much? only nine swamp stone but there's a lot of this uh that was my 16 let's go see what we have for metamorphic stone we get a lot of mountain because that's the biome we're in that's what we're using also um there's two stacks of the swamp mm -hmm. That's a really pretty color. So, we need to make more of this for the floor. And then the walls, we could mix metamorphic the forest stone. Maybe with some swamp stone, give it a different green texture. Do I have the other one? Um, all right. Green pavement is slime, cobble, gravel, living rock. break everything around this oh of course yes no 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 ran and carpus you be bad bad boy of course it's gonna do the grab the TNT again 
Yer. <laughs> All right. Hopefully it won't do any more. Try to pick it up quickly. Yay! Hi, Lucid Observer. Nice to see you. There's that. I know it's dark. Um, we'll probably want to go out one further. That is why I have obsidian lining that hole down, drop down. Yep. <laughs> but it's just a waste of TNT that I just don't have. So it's like, no. We will have to deal with um, these little bits here. Um, swamp, forest, we'll line the walls in that. Um, let's go get the uh, cave crystals that we want to use for glass, bright neon creeper face, you know. Um, now, this is going to be interesting. It, the creeper face really works best when it's an even number so that the nose is two blocks. And that would make these two blocks the middle. Uh -huh. So let's... These will do with the really dark swamp stone, since they're going to be underneath. And then the creeper face. Those are the two middle blocks. Um, how far down do we want to make the little face? We do that. Our head, well, you know, it'll be up a little higher anyway. That's where that ends up being, which means there's extra here. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would explain it. If we went out to ten here, we would have to move this over. Would that be okay? No, I kind of like being in the green here. We'll take care of this uh, stone here. Make it go away. Did I think I'd be playing as long as I have? No. That doesn't look right for a creeper face, guys. For crying out loud, am I going to have to look at a creeper face? That doesn't look right. What did I do wrong? I've looked at creepers forever. I should be able to figure this out. Oh. I see. I 
I've played the pack longer than you have. <laughs> well, that's saying something, isn't it? Oops. I mean, that'll probably end up going there anyway. We might have to shrink our face. This is one block and this is one block. So it's one, two. Um, I know, I know, we're just working it here. Nose, mouth, no, see that looks so weird. That, that's better. And then, of course, the eyes are here and here. We can make it up a little higher, and that's actually the creeper fix. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do two by two eyes, but I can try. Depends on how much space I have up here that's got things going on. So is the eyes here and here. Makes sense. So we do need to make it... That's okay. Can I go up one more? Looks like it. You didn't spend much time automating other than the first few flowers, which is why I've had to come into Discord and be like, how did you intend to automate this one? <laughs> how is this supposed to work? Because it's not. <laughs> In all fairness, though, the pack's been great. There's our creeper face. We'll do black in there. Um... I can automate all the flowers, so I'm not sure which it was that, uh, what was solved and not solved. Alright, we're gonna try and make this so that that, would, that goes the same as this one. Um, we'll do forest stone, I think, here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Not picky about that. Um, it's from Full Metal Alchemist. All of my little Twitch panels are from Full Metal Alchemist. So yeah, my little avatar is too. Okay, we'll delete you since we have the creeper face now. Go back to this. And and a vendor. We need the trowel, forest, swamp. Let's take everything out that might goof it up. Do we want some Portuguese pavement in the walls too? Uh, 
Um, fill this in. All right. Oh, no, I don't want you. start we need to clean we need to um, get rid of the ceiling up to that level which level do I want that level you stop it you need to be smarter <laughs> there is only a very, very subtle difference between the two blocks. So you probably won't see a difference. It's not that subtle. Well... <laughs> a lot of time. Yep, a lot. Lot, lot, lot of time. Okay, so it does look like we're gonna have to shape in this section just a bit. It'll have to go here to cover that up. Work with what you have, right? <laughs> and then up here, we're gonna pick you up. That I think will prevent the TNT from being requested. So close to the stairway, I need to be careful. No, it didn't. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Alright, I give up on you. Because that many TNT explosions, I probably have a few blocks missing. Oh, up there. <laughs> it's very likely I do. Anyway. Oops. Funny, funny, funny. This back wall will be fun to try to not break that redstone since I've already been oh so good at it with my... You can talk about that. That's not a problem, Lucid. You can talk about making mod packs. I'm cool. Cool with that. Okay. This is the height that I'm going to want to be. I didn't choose to pick up the flower in the first place. This is a lot faster when you can do that.
looks like I might have to make a new trowel soon. Oh, like now. Um. They look like black to you? Are you what kind of device are you watching Twitch on? Maybe there's some uh, issue with the way your computer is your graphics card is displaying the variance variety of colors. Okay. I can remove you and you and you. What does it look like to me? It looks like two different shades of green, one that's more blue than the other. Well, I'm almost out of forest. Wonder if I have more. Do I have some here? I second the joining the Discord for the pack. Definitely, definitely been a help. So this is all enclosed. I should probably just cover you up. And put you back down. Which, since I picked you up, you no longer have mana. So what we're gonna do, chuck you in there, there you go, now you have mana. Looks like we need to dump our mana tablet, we have, re we have generated a tablet of mana! Okay, so... We need to put black glass in there. Do I have any? Nope. I have a bunch of those flowers. I do. Let's get a stack of glass. And... I just want to use up these flowers. Alright. We don't need a lot of this, but do I want to make a bunch of it? 24 ought to be plenty.
And actually, since I'm going to want in here, I would like to make one of these slides with um, the block she can walk through. Do I have any? I don't think so. Have I used every functional flower? No, I have not. Some of the flowers are not useful to me in my world. So, nope. <laughs> I'm here to make this. All right, so we need a Framed, patterned, pixie dust. Do we have these? We need to make one more framed. And the framed recipe is for plank. Oh, I might have planks. go see what I need to fix down here if I didn't have enough obsidian all of those repeat TNT blasts would have broken oh good I fixed it these two blocks are the only two that kept getting broken with the um, TNT that would blow up and I just added some more obsidian back there so we're good we're good all right I like it. Coming up to it from a distance. <laughs> I like it. We'll, we'll, we'll be shaping this hallway a bit better so it won't be like this. But uh, that's pretty cool. Let's take a picture of it. <laughs> 